Peter Holman, and I'm musical director of the Suffolk Villages Festival. Uh, the festival specialises in performance of, uh, of early music, or music up to the end of the 18th century mostly, uh, played on period instruments. I've long had an ambition to bring to the festival one of Mozart's greatest works, sometimes called the Serenade for 13 wind instruments, it's actually 12 wind instruments and double bass, sometimes called the Grand Partita. This superb piece, of course, is rarely performed, it's very expensive to perform, and we had the idea of combining it with an educational project involving the wonderful wind group Syrinx, which specialises in wind music of the Baroque and Classical period. Uh, several members of this group act have actually passed through as students through our, our resident orchestra, Essex Baroque Orchestra, so it seemed a very good idea to bring together the Mozart, to bring together Syrinx, and also to have working with them a group of present-day conservatoire students. These students have applied and they've been vetted and they've already been rehearsing and we're very excited about the project. Though I wasn't there at the rehearsal, I gather it sounded wonderful. This work is very rarely performed and it seemed a particularly good work to be the focus of an educational initiative because uh, it's not the work that, that most students at conservatoire would get to play, but particularly on period instruments. Now, of course, having the students and members of Syrinx coming down for the festival gave us the opportunity of using them in other concerts. And in particular, in the same concert as the Serenade, uh, we're having Mozart's wonderful symphony in G minor, number 25, which has four horns. And again, it's not often that an orchestra can get together four natural horns. And then I'm also using some of the wind players for a concert, including Mozart's Requiem and some Shakespeare music written in England at the end of the 18th and beginning of the, of the 19th century. We're working Syrinx hard because we're also getting them to do a lecture recital on wind music from the Renaissance and Baroque periods. That'll be an entertaining lecture recital and it's free for young people to encourage them to become interested in early instruments and even get playing them. Now, as you can imagine, all this costs an awful lot of money, even though we're not using a fully professional ensemble for the Mozart Serenade. Uh, we have to think of fees for the professionals, we have to think of expenses, travel expenses and so on for the students, and also to give them the opportunity of coming to the other concerts in the festival for free. Now, we have applied to an educational charity. We didn't have any luck there. I'm sure they have a lot of calls on their time. So we just thought we'd come into the modern age and try something new, crowdfunding, at least it's new for us. So this is where you come in. We'd be very grateful for anything you might be able to, to, to contribute, however small, uh, and there will be inducements. Anyway, many thanks for your time for watching this video, and we hope you'll be able to join us in supporting this project.